Yannick back for Yannick's Photo School in part two of this curves tutorial. Now um, we have this image again, and we've adjust the S. We have adjusted the S curve. Now let me just remove those points here for now by dragging them out of the dialog window of the uh, graphic. Sorry, and you can see there's a place here called Channel. It's a drop-down menu. If you click on the arrow, you have your three channels: red, green, blue, RGB. If I click on the red, the graph changes color, becomes red, to indicate that you're in the red channel. And basically here, you can play with the tonal colors. Anything that you drag into the upper triangle will add some red. So if I want to put some red into my highlights, I would do this. If I want to put some red into my shadows, I would do this on this side here. Now the opposite of red is cyan. Now if I bring this back to neutral and I drag down, you can see the image is getting this uh, turquoise-ish type of color, which is basically cyan. And if uh, I go all the way down, you can see that the image becomes really, really green. Now just for the purpose of this image, let me just put a nice neutral mid-tone redness throughout the whole image here. Now we can do the same thing for the green channel. If we go in the upper corner, we're putting some green in. And the opposite of green is magenta. So if we're going down here, we're adding some magenta. And I really like this. It's, ad it's becoming a really, really nice sunset here. And again, your next one would be blue. In the upper triangle, you're adding blue. And in the lower triangle, you're adding yellow. So we don't really want yellow for this image. I think a little bit of blue could be nice. Not too much, because it'll look fake. So maybe just a little tiny tad of blue here. Now if we look at the before and after photo, you can see the dramatic effect it has. It still looks natural, but it has those nice uh, cyan, magenta, and blue tones to it. All done through the curves dialog box. Before and after. So instead of using hue saturation or the, uh, the uh, color adjustment um, tool, you can do it all within curves. Now if you, get, if you forget what the opposites are of blue and green and red, what you can do is go into your image adjustments and go into color balance. And you'll see on the slider here the opposite of red, cyan, green, magenta, blue, yellow. And you could do the same adjustments here, a little bit of magenta, a little bit of blue. Uh, it's another way of doing it. There's uh, all rows lead to Rome, right? And here are many ways you can do the same thing in Photoshop before and after. And uh, that's how you use curves within the specific channels. And I hope you enjoy this two-part tutorial on the curves adjustment tool. And uh, stay tuned this week for a brand new tutorial. Bye-bye.